Hey guys, my name is Brave Tomato, and welcome to um, the third episode of Revisiting the Islands Red Dragon Edition. So, um, here I am at the Simo match, and <laughs> and here we find um, the um, them talking about the Yokozuna. This is the Yokozuna's um, little area. There's the bonsai tree I made for him, and there's like a kimono and a lucky cat. And he, meanwhile here, we find this poor guy who... Shouldn't you be out there wrestling? <laughs> I, I'm sick. You see, too sick to wrestle. <laughs> you don't look sick. You look scared. I've only wrestled training dummies before. I didn't think I'd be facing the Yokozuna in my first match. Is there anything I can do to help? Please, take my place. So he'll force me to take his place, and so I have to well, defeat by Yokozuna by pushing him off the platform or by avoiding his fury. So, psychological strength is nothing compared to the will to win. Oops. So, notice the eyes here. Notice my eyes. <laughs> this is the first and only time that my character ever has these eyes. Unless you count the, um, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the w other thing, called, um, whatchamacallit. What was it? Oh, yeah, well, it was the, um, other, it was the blimp adventure, where your character also has the angry eyes. The Okazuna lost, but I bet my life savings on that match. You there, you lost me this bet. Your life is about to get very difficult. Let's take a closer look at that passport. Uh, uh, I know I have it around here somewhere. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Basho. Basho! I apologize that my student has left her passport at my home. I will discipline her appropriately. Well, alright, but don't let this happen again. Go in peace. When you're ready, meet me at my home. You have much to learn. <sighs> I'm so angry right now. Um, for some reason, I have these angry eyes stuck on me. Arr! Come on, why is this the only island that I ever have these angry eyes? Because there are I moments in other islands that I need these. Seriously. Arr! <laughs> and, and now I'm back to calm, normal me. <laughs> for the rest of the entire thing. So... <laughs> well, that was fun. So, we'll move along here, and we'll move along to... Sen well, the Haiku guy is actually Basho all along. You're the Ninja Master? Um, among other things. Uh, why didn't you tell me so earlier? I was watching you. I needed to know that you were virtuous enough to become my student. And now you know. Of course, you've helped up all of the townspeople. Not for a reward, but because it was the right thing to do. Um, it was kind of for a reward to, like, move along the quest, but what can I say? Now your training begins. I have placed all the tools you'll need in your bag. First, a ninja wears clothing designed for stealth and agility. Now put on your ninja garb. So, behold, I'm a ninja now. Let's move on. The Shuko are handheld claws that allow you to cling and jump from walls. They are equipped at all times. Try reaching the red ribbon in the far tree by jumping off the trunks of the trees. So now I gotta, like, reach the, um... This is really cool. Excellent. Remember. The Shuko are always equipped. You can equip additional tools from the menu at the bottom left of the screen. Screen? What are you talking about? Uh, nothing. Equip your throwing stars and then tap the safe spots to throw them in the direction of the cursor. Try putting out the candle and dropping the bag of rice. So, I got the shurikens. And... Bam. And... Oops, missed. Hold on. I'll get it, Basho. 
Very good. Remember that throwing stars are best use of stealth, not combat. The best strategy is to remain unseen. Now, equip your smoke bombs and then tap the space bar to throw them in the direction of the cursor. Smoke bombs can temporarily blind your enemies. Try hitting the dummy in the far tree. So, I can use this. So, I have to try hitting a dummy. Okay. So. Bam. Nice work. Blinding an enemy can give you a few seconds of time to sneak by. Let's move on to the bow staff. With the staff equipped, tapping spacebar will start offensive to spin when you're standing still. Now defend yourself. <laughs> okay. There we go. Tap the space while we're running to the bow staff to vault. The faster you're running, the higher the vault. Vault up to the nearest branch and reach the blue ribbon. Oops. Missed it. There we go. You're almost there. Next up is the grappling hook. Like the Shuko, your grappling hook is always equipped. If you see a metal ring, click it to start swinging. Then click again to release. Give it a try. You have mastered the tools of the ninja, but can you master yourself? Meet me at the stone wall near my hut for my final train. Your tried final training mission. So, um, the sensei will go off and... We'll head on over to the wall. You're really ready. First and most important task of all. Fix this wall! So now we just gotta construct a wall after all that awesome stuff we did before. <laughs> Here we have all the stuff. Gotta put them all together. All together now. I believe this goes here. Yep. And this goes here. Good work, Grasshopper. The wall looks pristine. What ninja skill did that teach me? No ninja skill. I just needed my wall fixed. Eh, now you're ready. To apply your ninja training, I can teach you no more. Go, ascend the fortress cliffs and rescue your friends. Oh, and one more thing. Yes, Master? Bring me the Shogun. He and I have some unfinished business. I will. So, um, we're, uh, we're after, <laughs> you know how ninjas sometimes have, like, you have to have years and years of experiment experience to, um, be able to master their tools and stuff? Well, we are, we were given, like, two minutes, and we master them perfectly. Logic! What's that? So, we can head on up to the fortress now. So we can rescue Jack and Annie. Oh yeah! They're Jack and Annie! They're in this island too. So now we can equip these, um... We can use this... These, um... These little claws to, um, grab onto the... Grab onto the, um, walls around us. So, okay. Oh, no, no, no. No, nope. Not gonna fall. I'm not gonna fall. Shoot. Okay. Now I gotta... Okay. So, I'm a ni I'm a ninja! A really bad ninja, but <laughs> I'm still a ninja. And by the way, I can cling onto these forever, so it's like... There we go, jump up and jump up here. There we go, that's how you're supposed to do it. This is... Th I feel like this might be one of like, my, my favorite like parkour sections in the entire game, so... Now, I believe we're at the point where there's, yeah, that. So, we got, like, perfect timing along with, with the, um, traditional, like, stuff. Ouch! 
Okay. That's not perfect timing. So there we go. We made it up there. And now we just gotta use that as a, um... Whoops. Okay, that works. There we go. For some reason, I remember this being much easier than it is right now. <laughs> Yay, I'm <laughs> bad at this. Okay, we made it across here. Now we can head on over to the left. So now we can do... There's something cool called like Ninja Vision, where you can see like everybody who's like around here. So here we find like a guard here. It's just the one singular guard. So there is an opening in that window. So when we go down here, blind this guard, climb up this wall, and then go into the window. That's our plan. So let's equip the smoke bomb. Use Ninja Vision. Oh, there it is. That's what I was just doing, Basho. Thanks. Why didn't you tell me during training? So let's pass on by him. And we can head on in over to the... Whoops. That was too high. Too high. I jumped too high. <laughs> okay, so now... Whoops. Don't... Stop, stop clicking like automatically. Okay, missed him. There we go. So now let's do this for real this time. We can enter through here now. Now let's see our surroundings here. So we're perfectly safe over here. So we can just use a shuriken to like um cut this cut this rope and that allows us to pass by. So let's see um hmm. Okay, there's a guard right down there, so uh hmm. I'm trying to think. What's over here? I know I need a password, so... Hmm. Okay, I can start off by going over that guy's head with the grappling hook and then grabbing this. And then I'll just climb back up here and then blind this guy. Um, okay, so I cut this rope, jump up here, jump over him. And I also need a key, so... The key is over here. And I need to hmm, to pull vault over here. So while I get this piece of paper, I can go over there. That sounds like a plan. Hmm. Okay, so... Now we can... Let's get our pole vault. Pole vault over, and I just want to make sure there's no enemies over here. Okay, we're good. So, we're applying everything that Basho has taught us during our journey, so... Let's head on over here. And... Oh, shoot. Okay, that's kind of scared me a little. Okay. I almost fell right into that guard, so, um, I'm running out of time here, so, let's get down over here, and we can cut the shuriken over here, mm, probably after I, like, finish this area, I'm gonna pause it. Shoot, I failed, I failed, whoops, uh, ha. He jumps. Okay. I'm gonna end this episode for here, right, for right now. I'll see you guys next time for the next episode, Revisiting the Islands, um, Red Dragon Island, which will probably be the final episode unless I suck at what's coming up. BC out.